Guys, this is your boy Solo, and I'm gonna show you today as best as I can how to use your ZUM wallet in regards to XRP type, um, you know, purchases and, and whatnot. The ZUM wallet only deals with the interacts with the XRP ledger, so these are um, coins that are based off the XRP protocol. And unfortunately, the ZUM wallet wouldn't let me screen record. Obviously, as you guys know, a lot of these wallets have you know personal and private information so i'm trying to record as best as i can so pardon um for the quality of the the me recording the wallet because i had to do it manually now first you download the wallet okay and it's very easy to set up i mean it's it's just a basic wallet setup you download it you set it up on your phone make sure your phone is secured of course and It'll give you 12 passphrases, like passwords, because, you know, for your keys and whatnot. So you write those 12 down, and once again, you know, you guys know I'm not a financial advisor, but keep, have that written down. Don't put it on the computer. Don't email it to yourself. Don't be lazy. Write it down somewhere and keep it somewhere safe, okay? And then once you set it up, to have, uh, to create these trust lines, right? You do need a small amount of XRP some, because with these airdrops that I'm, I'm giving you, uh, this game, not all airdrops, uh, there are certain stipulations to, to some of them, okay? And I'll explain what they are. They're, they're very easy to maneuver, okay? Now, what is a trust line? The XRP ledger's authorized trust lines future enables currency issuer to limit who can hold its issued non-XRP currencies so that... Unknown XRP ledger addresses cannot hold those currencies. A customer sends a trust set transaction to create a trust line from her XRP address to the gateway's issuing address. Okay, so in other words, um, a trust line is a, you know, a special address uh, verifier, so to speak, right? And that's the best way I can put it. And the reason being is, is because um, it, it, it gives better transparency. Even though there's privacy, there's definitely transparency, okay? And salute, I got this from uh, a Telegram group that I'm part of, but also this is public on Twitter. So this has airdrops that are up until beginning of January. Now, obviously, there will be more airdrops added, and there is a Telegram group for this airdrop list, and this is just for XRP, right, which is dope. And so I have included that in the description as well. Now, what's an airdrop for those that don't know? Okay, good question. An airdrop is basically where a new coin is coming out. And so to have as many holders as possible, they will do what's known as an airdrop, which usually tends to be um, a free giveaway. So what that means is when you create the trust line using XRP, they're able to verify which addresses have confirmed to that trust line and then they can send you a small amount of their token. Now, guys, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. You may get a 100,000 of a token, but it'll only be worth 10 bucks, okay? And then you may get like 0.5 of another one that's only worth a cent. You have to remember a lot of these tokens, they're brand new and they're trying to get the word out, right? Now, if you have 30 different tokens, um, Definitely three or five. If you hit the three or five right ones, they're gonna hit, they're gonna hit really well, right? So now you have a trust line where you it, it costs very minimal. <laughs> Even if you, you do this every day, three or five minimum are gonna hit. And when I say hit, gonna do very, very well. <coughs> now, the one that most people have been talking about, <laughs> the one that most people have been talking about is the Sologenic one. That one, you do have to buy some Sologenic. But what you want to do, right? And and I'm going to do um, the XR Panda one because I already have set up a bunch of them, okay? So what you want to do is you want to click on that link. Okay. And then you click OK. So it's redirecting. Okay, so when that comes in, right, it, it has the confirm, 
right there. And so to hit the confirm with that, you would scroll down, hit the confirm. And then on your phone, there is the, the Yoom button down there. You would click on that. And then it would click scan code or bar. You would click on that. And then what you would do then is scan it. And then it would ask you um, the details. And, you know, it'll say the address is not found. That, that doesn't, don't, doesn't mean anything. It just means that that's your XRP address, right? So then you would slide to accept. And then it gives you a warning. Continue at your own risk. And then, you know, you know what I got is I've got the, um, the, the thumb verifier, right? And then when you verify, it'll, it'll take a moment. It'll say verifying. And then it'll say success. Then you would hit close. And then you, you would scroll down. And then it has the XR Panda added onto it, okay? Now remember guys, for every one that you do, um, you will be charged a small fee. Um, typically it's like 0 .00002 um, XRP, so it's like 20 cents or two cents or something like that. It's really cheap, right? Now, with these ones where it says airdrop snapshot, this is different, and I'm not going to do these ones today, but the snapshot ones basically mean that you have to purchase typically, and, and there are different rules for these. And the best way to know the rules, guys, is go on their Twitter. Those are their Twitter, Twitter handles. And then see if you can find their white paper, right? But typically the snapshots, what that means is, for, for example, Sologenic has a has a, a snapshot. Basically, you have to have some solo coins in there um, before you even before they even airdrop it to you. So there is a caveat to some of these that you do have to buy a small amount. But the dope one about Sologenic is, and Sologenic, by the way, is an exchange platform, is is that for they'll they'll give you as much solo uh, for every XRP you have in your wallet. So, for example, if you have a thousand XRPs, you'll get a thousand solo. You got ten thousand XRPs, ten thousand solo. A hundred XRPs, a hundred solo. So this is dope, guys. So um, not all of the snapshots have that, but that's why I say cl click on their Twitter, figure out the stipulations and whatnot, so that way you get the best deal possible. Okay. Now the next last one I'm doing then for the video sake is called XR bear right okay so this is the xr bear one and once again when you you get to the xr bear one to set up the trust line right it's very simple you you click on scan and then you click confirm right and this one is and every transaction fee is different so this one is point zero 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 one two okay so not all so just remember you have to have some xrp in your wallet because not every um not all of them have you know have the same rules right typically a lot of them a lot of them do have a have it low but you know you can spend some money on this okay so then once it does that boom now it's connected you look at the uh, bottom here wait where is it at okay it's uh, it's actually up on top so XR bear right up on top as you can see I don't have a quantity of XR bear right um, however once the airdrop is done, typically you should get the airdrop within uh, 24 to 48 hours. Um, the X Trump was the recent airdrop I did. I got a hundred thousand of that. Okay, 
It's only worth a couple bucks, not worth much, okay? So guys, this is how you set up your trust lines. Uh, this is how you set up your Yum wallet. If you have any questions, drop it in the chat. I'm out. Peace.